grandfather. There is a time coming now, very soon, when you will all need to know how to use some form of benevolent magic. You can find a blog by clicking upon the Explore Race link for this site that is called Benevolent Magic, and there'll be a lot of instruction there about that. But I want to give you something that you can do now. I've talked about this before, and I will talk more about it again. But I'm going to give you something right now that you can do to support yourself with a form of magic that works with all life and not against anything or anyone and works within the context of the natural world, that being what is around you, what has been created, what is uh, part of uh, nature. Eh? So, first off, if you can, I'd like you to go out on the land, even if it is some land adjacent to your home or further out in the country if you can. And just spend a few time, oh, maybe uh, five minutes, ten minutes walking around, or longer, take a hike with a friend if you want. Then when you get to a place where you feel personally comfortable, and uh, ideally where there's not too many other people around, but just you there with nature, if you're there with a friend, have them stand off at a distance, all right, at least 50 to 100 feet away from you, but they can be within sight of you. Though so while you're doing this, I recommend that they not be looking at you, though they can generally be looking in your direction, but it would be better for them to look at the trees, the clouds, the animals, the plants, like that. So, this is what I recommend you to do first. First, ask out loud for all the most benevolent energies, guides, teachers, spirits, angels, and uh, other forms of benevolent spiritual life to be all around and about you in the most benevolent way for you now. Try to use those exact words. If at any time you're saying those words, you feel the energy come up. Pause for a moment to let it permeate in and around you. Know that that energy is going to help you to feel better and to perform the task you request in places where you cannot go to perform it. Then say, after you wait for about a minute after having said that, or until the energy fades, all right, and have completed saying that statement I recommended, then say, I am asking that all forms of life, be they benevolent or not so, now experience a transformation into a more benevolent state of being that will be the best possible state of being for all life here on earth now. Then pause. Some of you might feel an energy come up. Some of you may not. If you don't feel the energy come up after having said those exact words, then wait about five minutes. Try to stay in the same spot. If you can, when you're in that spot, try to be facing north or generally in that direction. All right? That is where creation on this planet takes place from the northern pole. 
the Southern Pole supports creation and recreation. Then, after waiting about five minutes or ten minutes, I want you to, if you wish, say the following benevolent magic. Say, again out loud, I request that all of my needs in the most benevolent sense be fulfilled for me now in the most benevolent way, resulting in the most benevolent outcome. Then pause for a moment. 30 seconds or so. Make your best guess. Don't look at a watch or a clock. Then say, for me. Now the reason you pause is so that other forms of life can also be served. Then you finish up by saying, for me, because one does benevolent magic for oneself, at least at this stage of the training. And one does the other form of magic where you start saying, I am asking. For yourself, you can, yes, and for others. All right? Then just wait after you have said that. If you feel the energy come up, okay. Just wait. Even if it comes up strong during your saying the words, pause until it fades a bit, then finish the words. Always follow that procedure. The energy is coming up to help bring about what you have requested. I might add, this will only work in ways that are benevolent. There are forms and checks and balances within this work to keep it from producing anything but benevolent outcomes. Then pause, as I say, when you're done. And if you like, and only if you like, you can make one complete rotation and end up facing north. Then, again, if you like, you can add this at the end, for those of you who know a little bit about true magic. You can take three side steps to the left, make a one-quarter rotation to the left, take six side steps to the left, then turning left, you can end up facing the direction you need to go and walk off and continue your life. If you do not know about true magic yet, and I have spoken about that here and there and other places, then you can go check the Benevolent Magic blog or a Mystical Man's World blog, which you can find by clicking on the website indicated for this YouTube channel and read about it. But if you do not know about true magic now, then after you have finished saying the benevolent magic, that last thing I recommended, then just walk away and continue on with your life. I will support more training for you about benevolent magic in the future because I feel you will need it to help your world and to help yourself bring about the most benevolent outcomes for your life and the lives of others. Good life.